I already made a iOS 17 video talking about the top five features that I really like from iOS 17. But yeah, so that video is already up on YouTube. If you guys want, you can watch it on YouTube. I've been using watchOS 10 ever since, and I've installed watchOS 10 on my Apple Watch Ultra. I'm going to talk about the things that I like and dislike about watchOS 10. So the first thing I want to talk about is the new watch face. So there's a new Snoopy watch face that is very, very cool. And it does the little animation every time you wake it up even if it's on always on display or if it's on no always on display once you raise your wrist uh, there's a cool animation that comes up of Snoopy and there's a lot of different animations and different background colors every time you do it it's gonna take a while for you to see the same animation and also the same color of background every time you raise your wrist so that's one cool thing that I really like but it's still kind of small there is another watch face that Apple came out with that has a bunch of different multiple colors. Um, it's very simple, it's just a very colorful watch face. There's not really much to it. I, I usually don't really like watch faces that don't really show the time clearly or don't really have that many good complications or features that you can use. But Apple came out with a feature in the watchOS 10 update that makes any watch face useful. And that is smart stacks. So with smart stacks, you can have widgets basically in your watch face and you can put a timer, put a stopwatch. You can have the your uh, now playing your music, your activities, the weather all under smart stacks. And you can still have the minimalism of the watch face that you like or you can have the Snoopy animation watch face if you like to be distracted with Snoopy animations. So you can have any watch face you want and still have the functionality of complications under smart stacks. But other things with watch OS 10 is basically not much. So other than the Snoopy watch face and the smart stacks, the rest is really just redesigned. Even the home screen has a redesign. And when I say a home screen, I'm talking about the honeycomb uh, view of apps, so all app view. So that's really the issue I see here. Even the home screen got a redesign, but it's very minimal redesign. And you can scroll up and down easier with the honeycomb view, so you don't get lost within a bunch of apps that you have downloaded on your watch. Um, but I still rather use the list view on the Apple Watch is very simple. You don't even need to really use the list view or the honeycomb view for the apps. If you have your most used apps under a widget like the uh, smart stacks, then most of the time you're going to be looking at your watch face and you're going to be looking at the smart stacks and that's pretty much so it. So the music app on the Apple Watch is now redesigned. So you have a new um, now playing. So when you're seeing the art cover and the controls and the other Bluetooth devices that you can pair with, it's the redesigned. And also same thing goes with the podcast app. There's a new redesign with the podcast app and it looks much cleaner, much nicer. And yeah, it just looks better over watch os 10 apple changed the way we can access control center so before we would swipe from the bottom to the top and we would get control center on the apple watch but now we just have to press the side button and it brings up the control center if that's a replacement because we needed smart stacks because you can still swipe from the bottom to the top to get uh, smart stacks i think it's better to press the side button to bring the control center up because you can accidentally swipe the watch and bring up the control center and mess up the different settings like for example if you had your watch on silent and you accidentally bring up the control center and then your watch is making noise and time was supposed to be silent that could be a bigger mistake so having the side button there to use for the control center is a lot better than swiping from the watch was 10 was it really a update filled with a bunch of different features, so some big features. is really filled with small features, but a lot of redesigns. So technically you can consider it a big update if you're looking at the redesigns, but if you're looking at features, there is a lot of different features, but might not be suitable for most people, or most people might not even notice them. All in all, watchOS 10 is very good software update. There's nothing really wrong with the software update. It's just that it's really mostly a redesign, and the fact that it was really hyped up before it actually got announced gave me a lot of hope for a complete redesign, new features. Um, the biggest feature that I feel that is pretty much good is the smart stacks but other than smart stacks 
there's not really much for me to really get excited about. Um, the redesign is cool, I love it, but yeah, it's still a redesign. Um, it's not something that I would say wouldn't require a whole watchOS update, but yeah, uh, that's my thoughts on watchOS 10. Let me know what you think, and if you think watchOS 10 was good, what feature do you think is the best feature, and what redesign do you think is the best redesign in the watchOS 10 software update? So see you guys on the next video. Peace.